The finale of the hit series Mad Men aired seven years ago this week. For seven seasons, John Hamm played the hard-drinking, womanizing, 1960s-era advertising executive Don Draper in a starring role that earned him two Golden Globe Awards and an Emmy. After a steady mix of drama and comedy since then, the St. Louis native now is stepping into a childhood fantasy, playing the commanding officer to Tom Cruise's Maverick in the anticipated new sequel to Top Gun. John and I got together on a rooftop above Times Square for a Sunday sit-down. Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell. Your reputation precedes you. Thank you, sir. Wasn't a compliment. 51-year-old John Hamm has quite a story to tell 15-year-old John Hamm. If my eighth grade self could talk to my now self, both of us would not be computing that this is happening. The hard deck is 5,000 feet above ground level. 5,000 feet is not just a rule, it is a law, as immutable as gravity. 36 years after the original Top Gun movie, Ham plays Vice Admiral Cyclone in the highly anticipated sequel, where he butts heads with the older, only slightly wiser, Maverick. Nothing will change without my express approval. Including the hard deck, sir? Especially the hard deck, Captain. Sir. What is this? It's a request to lower the hard deck, sir. The 1986 classic took viewers on a thrilling ride inside the cockpit. I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! And gave us lines that endure all of these years later. Son, your ego is writing checks your body can't cash. With Tom Cruise back at the controls, the new Top Gun Maverick taps in to that nostalgia while flying into a new era. It's a continuation of the story and on all the people that we've known. And then it's this throwback again uh, to making you feel like you were when you were in sixth grade or eighth grade. There's a piece of music that comes in and I was like, it drops you right back, back into it. Yeah, it drops sure. right back in. It's incredible. When they call you about this, does it blow your mind to even consider the possibility? It was a no-brainer for me. I was just like, are you kidding? Yes, I don't know. I don't care what the what the part is. I would be in craft service on this thing if I could. But, you know, then I got like a cool call sign. Yeah. And I was like, they put me in the wardrobe. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, this is amazing. <laughs> you two have something in common. Cyclone here was first in his class back in 88. Actually, sir, I finished second. Just want to manage expectations. I'll never forget my first day on set. There's Tom Cruise, and he just looks at me, and he's, hey, he comes up, gives me a big hug. It's so good to have you here. I was like, this has to be like an out-of-body experience for you. You are in the same wardrobe, on the same set, and it's 30 years later. He goes, I feel like I'm at home. And I was like, ah, of course you do. Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. It's a rare thing to be like in the presence of a guy like that, that movie star energy. That yes. Just, and it's infectious and it's fun. And a wild thing to be standing in a scene with somebody who's like the poster was on the wall of yeah. your childhood. Yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. <laughs> I, I, you pinch yourself. You got to stay on solid ground for your role. Yes, I did. But my God, some of the fighter plane scenes. And Tom says we had to test all these actors and make sure they could pull eight yeah. Gs. Verify cameras are on. Check cameras on. There you go. That's no joke. That's no CGI. It's real. And those guys and girls all had to go through pretty much oh, okay. fighter pilot training. You know, they're in G suits. They're experiencing G lock, loss of consciousness. It's exciting. Your, your pulse immediately starts ramping up when you see it. Just a little higher. That's perfect. Great camera position. It's also been a little bit of the waiting game for this, building up this anticipation. It was meant to come out in 2020. Obviously, the world, you know, stopped. The idea was this needs to be seen big and loud and on a big screen and to blow your hair back. Ham has more news for his middle school self as he next takes up the iconic role of Fletch. John Cocteau, Stone. <laughs> it's a beautiful name. Well, it's Scotch Romania. Name's Liddy. Gordon Liddy. The hilarious, quotable character first played by Chevy Chase in the 1985 movie. 
I'm uh, Don Corleone, Mrs. Kavanaugh's cousin. Ham plays a new version of the investigative reporter in the upcoming film, Confess, Fletch. Are you going to imitate right. Chevy? Like, no, you can't. Chevy's Chevy. That version will always be his. So we had to really kind of, we approached it like a cover song. You have to kind of come up with your own spin on it. Ham is reunited in the movie with his Mad Men co-star, John Slattery. You wanted to see me? About three weeks ago. Debuting 15 years ago this summer, the acclaimed series and that brooding character made Ham a household name. You ready for another? Or have you topped off your tank? You're leading this dance. You've got some distance from it. Have you been able to process what a whirlwind that was well, and what an impact it had on your life? Yes, yeah, for sure. It's fun to look back on that show and, and be reminded of what a great thing we made. When we land Jaguar, the world will know we've arrived. That was 2007 when it started. The show was great, but there was no guarantee it was going to take off. AMC, people weren't sure. We didn't know if we were going to make a second episode. So then it, then it debuted, and it was a hit. And then all of a sudden, it went for seven seasons. And that's, that's a success that very few people get to experience. And I'm eternally grateful for it. It obviously changed your career, but it changed your life. It was a change. It's certainly a change. In the old days, you shake hands and move on. That's yeah. it. And now it's a, it's a picture, it's a this, it's a let's do. And of course, you don't want to be, you know, rude. Yeah. But there's also, you know, there's only so many minutes in the day. As you look at the sort of future and the horizon of your career, what's still out there that you want to do? I've been so lucky. I just like to keep my head on a swivel when my eyes open and, and be aware when those opportunities come my way that I don't miss them. Top Gun Maverick is only in theaters, no streaming, beginning this Friday, May 27th. And I have to tell you, it is awesome. Our thanks to the St. Cloud Rooftop at the Knickerbocker Hotel in Times Square for hosting our conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full length interview with John Hamm. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.